I'm good. How are you? You're so pretty. Thank I'm you. Lauren. Thank you, Lauren. I love the movie. So oh, you got me bringing you. sexy back. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. Name where you're from. Marissa Hall, Kansas City. Anytime you're ready. Okay. So first I wanted, it was a fun movie. Thank so you. what sparked the idea? Oh gosh, well, uh, Katie and Elon, who's my, my writing partner, we co-wrote the script together. Um, and we, honestly, it's not that exciting. We were sat down and, and did one of those, all right, what are we writing? Which was, you know, we thought, right, let's write what we know, which was female friendship, and that she and I are very different people. And you know, when we first met each other, we, we maybe didn't get along all that well, but then we became best friends. We thought, that's what we'll write about, female friendship. But um, we decided uh, when we th talked about plot and what world this movie should be set in, we drew on Katie's real life experience, which was running a phone sex line out of her dorm room at Florida State her freshman year of college. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so how did you prepare for that? Like, did you, how did you prepare for well, the, the scenes? Well, you know, Ari and I would call each other every night and talk about what we were wearing <laughs> and if we were in bed and, uh, no, you know, <laughs> it's, you know, we, we approach it not as if we were making a documentary, but as if we were trying to entertain people. So we just tried to be creative, as, as creative as we could be, and make people laugh. You know, we didn't want to, you know, titillate and re uh, heavy breathing in a sexual way. It was heavy breathing with laughter, you know, and um, and that that was the goal the whole time. So it wasn't uh, wasn't about uh, the real life true story of phone sex. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so this is a chick flick for women. Mm -hmm. So what message do you want it to come across when it comes to watching this film for women? Oh gosh, we would love for, for we love, when, you know, when we've shown the movie, we love how girls will come with their best friend and they'll say, that's us, you know? And I think the thing that we like to, that we're trying to say is that just because someone pees in your hair in college doesn't mean they won't be your best friend 10 years later, you know? <laughs> and, and that is something that is so universal about women and that they can sometimes hate each other for no reason and then suddenly you're best friends again and, and you never, you never know who's going to change your life and, and affect you in that way. And, and we love that about women and their friendships. Get a landline. You're wasting your time for a buck a minute and this depraved company you work for makes four times as much as you for doing nothing. Get your own hotline. I've thought of that. It just sounds like a ton of work. It's not a ton of work. You just call the phone company, they'll give you a new number, you'll set up a PayPal account, tell your repeat caller your new number and you're done. You seem to know how to do this. Help me make this a business and I'll pay $100 of your rent until you get another job. No. Okay, forever? I have an interview tomorrow at Laxton Press. It is the second best publishing house in the world. Oh. It is my dream job and I'm perfect for it. <gasps> oh, really? Okay. Well, you go get your fancy pants boring job and I'll just be here being exciting. Fine. You know, you're not better than me. You're not better than phone sex. I'm better than phone sex. Yes, and going on friendships, off the script, mm -hmm. you guys are best friends. Mm -hmm. So how much of that you brought into the movie, and was there any improv going on? Well, you know, the dynamic okay. is, is me and Katie. Certainly, I am the one who, who follows the rules, and she's the one who breaks them. But, you know, but I think it's that dynamic that allows us to create something like our movie and, and, and like the relationship that she and I have in real life. And, um, you know, as far as improv goes, we, we shot the movie in 16 days, which is... Not a long time, and um, and so we didn't have a ton of time. However, with the calls, with the phone sex calls, you know, we have these incredibly talented comedians doing these cameo roles, and um, it was really important to make sure that they were able to run with it. So, um, for example, Seth Rogen's call, my husband, he's in this bathroom. He was in that bathroom for over an hour. I mean, we have over an hour of footage of that guy, you know, in the stall like this, and you know, if we, and in the movie, it's what a minute, a minute and a half. So yes. we we made sure to 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 let them run. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. Okay, but the last thing I want you to do is mm -hmm. could you give me the little 1-800 line? Yeah, as if you were calling? Yes. Shall we do a little a little improv? Do you want to <laughs> dial my number? Okay, was it 1-800? Oh, mm -hmm. Just give me a little ring. Give me a little okay, ring. Okay, ring, ring. Hello, one eight seven seven. mm mm-hmm. Like it. How's that? Yes. Good. <laughs> thank you, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. you. So nice to meet yeah. you.